they need to, I think, understand that uh, every member of Congress wants to hear from their district. And so while you may have an umbrella organization that's based here in D.C. that sort of coordinates things, mm -hmm. make sure you bring constituents to the, to the offices, whether it's... that the uh, leader selected me to be part of that messaging team and it's an outgrowth of what we try to do at the state level in terms of being a, a, a green legislator, being a, an environmentally concerned legislator. Uh, and part of our message, part of our task is, is to inform the caucus of what's going on, make sure that the advocacy groups have know that we have, that they have our ear so they have a place where they can come talk to us and share their concerns and then try to execute on those concerns as best we can in, mm -hmm. in a Congress where we realize we're a minority and where we realize that we have an anti-environmental presidency in place. So they need to, I think, understand that uh, every member of Congress wants to hear from their district. And so while you may have an umbrella organization that's based here in D.C. that sort of coordinates things, mm -hmm make sure you bring constituents to the to the offices, whether it's, even if you don't get to see the congressperson, at least have constituents talk to staff so the staff can say, hey, you know, John Jones from, from Ettrick, uh, Virginia came up here and he had this concern. Because again, when you hear a familiar city, or maybe even a familiar name from, from a particularly active constituent, that helps resonate with, with the congressman or the congresswoman. So that would be the number one thing I would say. Well, I think it starts off with being thoughtful, first about the bill, whatever the issue is, and then who's likely to be affected by it. Because there's some things that don't have a D or an R behind it. For instance, broadband, uh, the need for rural broadband deployment, you know, that's something that we're very excited about. That's something that we want to work hard on. And that's something that doesn't know partisan boundaries. So trying to find issue issues like that to promote and then identifying those members who may be like-minded is I think how we how we've been so successful and it's great staffing that's what it really is it's great staff I think the number one thing I want to stress to my constituents is contact us right um, I, I, we love to help we love to try to get involved and roll up our sleeves and see if we can address the problem now we may not always be able to fix it we may not be able to fix it as fast as it needs to be fixed because we're dealing with a bureaucracy, but we're really here to help. And you know, oftentimes we'll get the message secondhand, if you will, right? Like the media will come to us and say, did you know that? And of course we handle it appropriately and we try to jump on it, but we want our constituents to know that they don't have to call the TV station first, that we ought to be their first stop.